All right, uh, hello all. Uh, back at you again with more Arch Linux Madness for you. Uh, this time we're going to talk about GNOME Shell and how you can customize it. Uh, it's pretty. It's it's a nice uh, desktop environment. I find it a little heavy um, in some situations uh, and some things that I'm not too thrilled about. A viewer asked why I don't use GNOME, and I'll try to answer a little bit of that. I don't want to complain about. An open source or a project that you know people put so much work into uh, but I'll try to be civil okay uh, so the first thing is I, this is Arch Linux in VirtualBox so I'm assuming you already know how to install Arch Linux and have some knowledge of the command line utilities and Pac-Man and stuff so I have an alias as I always mention for Pac-Man it's Pac for sudo pacman dash capital S, it's pack. I'm just going to install GNOME dash shell, and that's the beauty of Arch Linux. You don't have to install GNOME everything, although it does pull in a lot of stuff, as you can see here. Uh, close to, well, it is 534 megabytes and change, and uh, it does pull in things like Pulse Audio and Pulse Audio also. And uh, as you can see, uh, different things. I'm not over overly thrilled with Pulse Audio, uh, but it's becoming more of a a, ne a necessity uh, to run certain programs. Like some programs won't run without it. Period. So I'll let this download and install, and uh, I'll be back when this is ready to go. All right. Uh, it's installed, and I also installed XSCE4 Terminal terminal through Pac-Man. Uh, so instead of a login manager to get started, let's just copy uh, Etsy x11 x init rc directory and then the x in r x init directory then x init rc file to if you're still in your home folder just type x dot x init rc and we'll just use nano dot x init rc. Page down arrow key just above TWM, you can press enter there just for looks. Uh, exec uh, GNOME dash session. Control O and Control X and then st uh, start X. And we should be going into a really bland looking GNOME shell, as you can see here. And we go to our activities. Uh, we don't have much installed in the way of. Uh, user programs. Uh, so that's why I installed XFCE terminal and we get uh, things like uh, Leafpad, Sunar, Sunar uh, dash vol, Volman, Sunar Archive. Sorry if I'm boring you. <laughs> Plug in uh, GVF, uh, GVFS. There we go. And I also tacked in on Garcon for uh, Sunar. So let's go back to our overview window and you can see we have some programs. Uh, Sunar File Manager works just fine. And uh, for our document, documents and folders, uh, just get uh, xdg-user-dirs, download that and just run the command to spawn your uh, documents and downloads folders and so, so on so xdg dash user dir dirs press tab to update let's go back to our file manager there we go there's your documents and downloads folders and so on and of course we need the obligatory uh, gnome dash tweak dash tool and just pulls down its dependencies. Okay, so that's installed, so we'll just go to it. Uh, tweak tool, top bar, show date, and seconds if you wish. Uh, Windows, I want to have to minimize and ma maximize on maximize buttons. So yeah, keyboard and mouse, switch, overlay, and desktop. Since I have the left, super left key on my, in, uh, on my system, I'm gonna change it to the right key. So super right key should, yeah, brings up the uh, overview window. 
under appearance you can turn off animations especially in the virtual box make it a little more snappy so the tweak tool comes in handy for lots of different things you can show icons the desktop and and so on and if I right click I don't have anything for settings or change back background it's because I have to install uh, GNOME Control Center so pack GNOME dash control dash center and it pulls in some stuff I don't really need but such is GNOME for you so just let that download and uh, install okay so time for some uh, uh, Arch Linux user repository programs such as in Grandpa and Grandpa dash Thunar and from the Pac-Man repository the usual suspects for uh, compression utilities and this one's uh, kind of interesting is uh, Yawart Zane uh, just one result it's good to see it back in the user repository it's for XFCE but it actually works in the GNOME, in GNOME shell alright in our uh, menu there's uh, XFCE Zane or XZane talked about this before you can hide uh, programs you might not want to see. You can actually change the name of a program. You can delete translations and uh, name, give it a name, say just call it file manager, save changes, and it works. Uh, say under uh, well, network, you don't want to see these in the menu. You can just click, whoops, that's right, hide, delete translations, save. You have to do them one at a time. So after uh, using that, just uh, Alt F2 and R to restart the GNOME shell. And now it's just called File Manager. And you can change the icon through that if you download an icon pack or use the default ones. All right, uh, if you do want a login manager, I found uh, another user repository. Uh, uh, it's XD, X, LXDM-GTK3. It's slightly different. It isn't overly dramatic changes, but just like just a little different. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, uh, LS USR Share X sessions. So there's one entry: GNOME dot desktop. So if you open that as root to edit, oops, I'm so sorry. Sorry, uh, I have to. GNOME dash desktop. There we go. You see the name here. You can actually change this to say small letters and GNOME shell if you want to. You don't. You don't have to. And quit. And then we'll just uh, sudo system ctl enable alexdm service and then just issue a reboot through the command line. And we'll take a look at the uh, GTK version. GTK three version of LXDM which is just slightly different so it's not a dramatic change okay uh, I think this is a little wider and down here where it has desktop if you notice I made the change to GNOME shell and it actually uh, it'll take that and there we go and for a custom shortcuts uh, terminal xfce4 dash terminal add and then click and uh, control alt t so control alt t brings up our XFCE4 terminal and you can preferences give it a name why not uh, appearance uh, let's make it a transparent background to about 90 and display new uh, menu and that's about it for that so close and reopen in the uh, also in the user repository there are a, a ton of GNOME shell extensions you can install without having to open a web browser and go on GNOME shell extensions. Uh, keep in mind, though, I'm not sure they're quite up to date, but if you just uh, type in Yowart GNOME dash shell, oops, dash extension, not with an S on the end, just extension, and it'll return a whole bunch of results. What I like to do is have that and then an arrow key out to something like extensions, the text txt give that a second and go to your home folder and extensions.txt what I like to use is the activities configurator so you just copy and paste that into uh, your terminal and if you notice there it uh, 
installs the GNOME shell extensions. So let's get out of this, 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 Alt F2 to restart the GNOME shell. And let's go to our tweak tool. And it should, they should show up now, the extensions. There we go. So you can have, uh, I usually have places indicator. So places down documents, which opens uh, my file manager and activities configurator. I think this is one of the best ones to come along in GNOME shell. You can have it to uh, show like an arch logo, which I think is neat. Um, also like the transparency of the top panel. You can adjust that to none to extreme, depending on your wallpaper to whatever. Uh, you can hide the rounded corners. It's kind of maybe it's hard to see uh, of the top shell. So uh, hide rounded corners, and then uh, I'm not sure what that enable conflict detection is, but I usually have that on. And you can give it a name like the menu apply. There we go. The menu. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that one. And I think that's user themes, uh, window list, and so on. And I think there's a icon set uh, called Vi Vibrantly in the user repository. Vibrantly, something like that. So I'll just do a quick search for that. Yeah, vib Vibrantly dash color. So it's not quite as. Uh, doesn't cover every, uh, oops, so I didn't mean to add that. Well, try it again. Uh, it doesn't cover all the icons you might run into, but it's kind of neat. Um, for the most part, it's different anyway, so. Usual routine, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so obviously I'm, I've installed GNOME backgrounds. Uh, where is it here? It's just... GNOME dash backgrounds through Pac-Man. I'm not sure this will work, but I'm gonna see where they are. Uh, I think it's USR share GNOME. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, backgrounds. Yeah, slash GNOME. Copy dash R. Uh, actually, no. First of all, let's uh, MKDR uh, tilde slash pictures uh, walls. Okay, so now we'll do the uh, copy dash r usr share backgrounds gnome to tilde slash pictures walls. Let's make another directory uh, in our home folder mkdir dot scripts and uh, leafpad uh, dot scripts something new uh, ball changer uh, dot sh. I have a script here that I use. Uh, a bin bash script. I'm gonna have to uh, change the directory, but I'll paste that in and just take out all this. Delete. Uh, I think that's it. Quit and then chmod that so it's executable. Dot dot scripts wall changer. And see if we can run that. I don't know if that'll work or not. Yep. Now, if we turn the animations back on through the tweak tool, you get a nice fading background. Now, you combine that to a key. Shortcuts, new wall changer, whatever you want to call it. And probably want to copy the full path. So, let's go to our uh, home folder dot scripts copy that in alt tab paste and then I'll just copy the name wall changer dot sh and control alt slash and it works so let's turn the animations back on just so you can see that has a nice transition animations there we go Let's just do a quick Alt F2 to restart the shell. Now let's try that. There we go. So it has a fading effect. 
Now what you can do is just add your own wallpapers into that directory instead of having to be stuck with just these all the time. And you have a nice way to change your uh, wallpapers if you wish. So if you like uh, GTK2 applications such as the Mate System Monitor, uh, uh, XFCE4 Applications Menu and Editor, XAME, ZAME, uh, you can actually enable it. And let's go down to this uh, part where it says only showing mate down to here. Delete that and then take, take out the keyword mate or mate with the semicolon. Uh, save changes. You might have to reload the gnome shell or not. I'm not sure. There it is. Mate system monitor. All right, uh, I think that wraps it up. And uh, as I said, you get the idea. You can uh, customize this any way you want, pretty much, with the help of uh, some third-party tools, extensions, and so on. So that's it, uh, GNOME Shell early uh, 2016. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.